she was expecting to enter into a royal family, a family, but she hadn't quite anticipated the extent to which they were so dysfunctional in their ability to communicate and to love each other in a like intimate emotional way. Hi AFI Movie Club, I'm Emma Corrin and I play Princess Diana in The Crown, one of the AFI Awards top television programmes of the year. I'm struggling. Struggling? I do, you've just had a triumph. Well, I don't consider it a triumph if at the end of it my husband and I are wretchedly unhappy. Look at these pictures of you both everywhere. Are you really telling me that's unhappiness? Well, not in that moment, no. In that moment, it's perfect happiness. But then behind closed doors, it's a different story. He resents me, resents the attention I get. I remember when we were discussing a scene, me and Josh, and how it becomes so clear through what Diana's saying to the Queen that Diana and Charles really, the problem existed in the fact that they both needed the same thing. They both needed reassurance and love in almost a parental way that they'd never quite got before and so because they both had this gap missing that they needed to fill neither of them would be able to do that for the other and is it also possible that there is a part of you that is enjoying your own success rather too much what is too much a smile a moment's happiness overstepping the mark is too much this moment where she admits that it is comforting to receive the attention that she does i think is so beautiful, this fine balance that she always plays with Diana between her vulnerability and her strength, where she uses her honesty and her openness of emotion to really be very strong and very bold, which is something new, I think, for the royal family. No one had been that emotionally articulate before. And she's able to say, look, yeah, it does feel comforting because at the moment I'm getting no support from any of you. So when there are people who see me and want to relate to me and want to talk to me and support me, of course, it's going to feel good. And I think it actually ends up being quite a valuable lesson for the Queen. You've seen how the crowds responded to me in Australia. Here too. And instead of resenting me for it... I assure you, no one resents you. Charles resents me. Anne resents me. And is it possible that you resent me too? All I want is to play for the team. You're the Princess of Wales, so of course you're part of the team. And show me. Something that I found fascinating in researching Diana was about her childhood and the lack of support I think she felt from her parents. She speaks about it. She said that her childhood was very lonely and really all she wants is a mother. And you realise she was expecting to enter into a family, but she hadn't quite anticipated the extent to which they were so dysfunctional in their ability to communicate and to love each other in an intimate, emotional way. And the hug at the end is just incredible. I think Peter said that it was one of the first times you've seen the Queen hugged by someone who wasn't Philip. You see two things. You see the extent of her youth and the extent to which she needs a maternal figure and a guide. That's all I want. <laughs> oh, I love her expression. It's all any of us want from you. Is it too much to ask? It was a huge pressure that I felt from the moment I guess I got the part, especially when I started to do research and obviously because it's Diana there's just such a wealth of research out there and I got quite lost, I got quite bogged down in hearsay I suppose and speculation and kind of like facts that didn't really give me any sense of who she was or at least what I needed to use to really get into this character. It was really when I got the scripts and kind of reminded myself that, oh, this is like Peter's world, this is our world we're creating, this is my version of Diana. It kind of it gave me a bit more freedom to bring my own take to her, I suppose. And also working with Polly Bennett and William Conacher on behaviour and voice and mannerisms, we very much built her from the inside out. So breaking down the emotional journey, her arc in the, in the script and what she was going through in each scene and therefore how that would manifest itself outwardly. Mm -hmm. 